three ways men trick women. In this video, you will discover those sneaky ways how men actually sabotage, manipulate you to get what they really want so you can uncover it early and run as fast as you can the opposite direction. Now, if you're ready to attract the right man for you, then hop on over into the comment section and let me know I am ready. I am Antje Boyd, founder and creator of the Magnetize Your Man Method. And look, this is the channel where we magnetize your man so that the man you want, desires, and hello also pursues you forever. Now, if you like anything about this video, my background, anything else I have to share, do me a favor, hit that like button, and also don't forget to subscribe so you get notified for more juicy videos coming your way and lastly, share it with a girlfriend or two. Now let's go ahead and dive right into the three ways how men trick women. Number three is he teases you. See, this is actually really interesting. And like when I actually started dating, I was dating this guy and he was constantly sort of like making fun of me, right? Was just like, I'm just teasing, right? But this like how the signature of this particular behavior is, it's like, a, it's a lack of this, it's a lack of respect, right? It's, it, it has a bit of a condescending tone to it, right? So for example, they would like say, oh, I mean, those earrings, they're cute. They look like, you know, like a 12 year old would wear them. Or, right, like they would say there's something wrong with your hair or there's something wrong with your outfit or maybe that you sound like a Mickey Mouse. And, you know, and you first you think like kind of, oh, that's like so cute and that's so funny and like, you know, but then you're like, wait a minute, the joke is always on me. Like, why is this constantly happening? And I remember that when this guy was dating, he was putting me down in front of his friends and belittling me. And that's when I put my foot down because I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, this is not happening. So the reason why the man is doing that, and of course men do it because it works. Look, nobody's doing anything that doesn't work, right? That would be totally silly. So the reason why he does that is because it makes him feel superior. And it makes you feel inferior. So he has sort of like this, he creates this illusion that he has more confidence, right? That he's like bigger, brighter, whatever, right? Like so that you are sort of like under shuffle, so to say, but also sort of like that you admire him. So usually this behavior comes from an intrinsic lack of self-confidence in a man, right? Because a man who truly believes in himself who truly trusts himself, who truly respects himself, doesn't need those kind of tools and certainly doesn't want to put his woman down, right? Why would he do that? He wants to create connection, not break them. Number two is love bombing, right? Like whining and dining you, right? Getting you that favorite piece of jewelry, telling you that you always wanted, never expected miracle, right? That you're the woman of his dreams, that he can't wait to introduce you to his mom, right? That, that he, you know, he, he's already seeing himself laying on the beach in a Coca Cabana, sipping on a pina colada, right? With you by his side, right? So he's like sort of daydreaming, future dreaming, and you just, what's happening is, wait a minute, girlfriend, what you're saying to yourself is like, this is kind of a little bit too good to be true. This is a little bit like, it's like when somebody puts on too much makeup, right? It's like, whoa, it's way too much. It's, it's way too overwhelming. And honestly, a good test that you can always run yourself through, would this be sustainable? right? Like, would this be sustainable? Like, is it realistic to believe that the man is telling you every day that you're the woman of his dreams and that he's, you know, he's head over heels and he can't even think straight and, you know, that he wines and dines you every day of the week and he takes you to five-star restaurants and he sends you your favorite gifts? No, of course not. So that's how, you know, wait a minute, that's love bombing, right? Because it's just, it's not sustainable. And usually you start to feel that there's a little bit of like a manipulative slash guilt tripping aspect attached to it. And how you know that is because he mentions it, 
right? So he doesn't just do it and then let it go, but he'll like remind you that he invited you to this five-star restaurant, right? He reminded you that he paid this $500 bill or he reminded you that he got you the Coco Chanel bag or the, whatever the case may be. That is a very surefire like sign that he's that he's not doing this for the right reasons. And again, I would cut it shorter uh, maybe not, and maybe thinking of putting your running shoes on. Maybe not start quite running, but thinking about it. Uh, number three is he seeks your empathy. Now, what he's going to do, he's going to share a sad, sappy story, right? He's going to make you feel you're sort of like his best friend. And he is sort of like out of the sudden emotional. So he wasn't emotional before. So that's another way you want to pay attention to. I always call this context over content. So we can oftentimes fall into the trap and get really enamored with the content that the man shares. Right. And really saying, wow, this man has like his heart on the right heart or this man truly trusts me because he just shared this deepest, darkest secret with me. However, if you don't see this to be consistent, right? If you're like, wait a minute, this could be a strategy to get what he really wants, whether that's sex or whether that's power, right? So it doesn't always have to be sex right away. It can be power, right? That he just feels so powerful because why? Because you give all your power away. You are losing yourself in him. Right. And then, of course, that makes him feel even more grandiose, especially when you're dealing with a narcissist. Right. So this is really a long term game because he manipulates you. So he gets every time what he wants and he's always in control. Now, am I saying that every time when a man shares something incredibly vulnerable and authentic, and something about his childhood, maybe something about his family, something that made him sad, something that moves him. Does that mean that that they, that he has not the right intention in mind? No, but I'm just saying you just want to pay attention to those signs. Are they adding up? How consistent are they? What is your gut telling you? Right? Is your gut like, mm, I don't know, something is off, something is not quite right. Like I appreciate the, I, I appreciate like the vulnerability, but I felt like more maybe the the words were vulnerable, but not necessarily the energy. I didn't really feel like that he was associated. So you really want to see kind of like, okay, um, how authentic is this really? Now, if you want to learn a 30 second trick on how to make any man authentically desire you, then hop on over to triggerhisdesire.com or click that link in the uh, into in a, a section and the description as well. And of course, watch next when a man deeply loves you, he will start saying these five things. Lots of love to you ladies. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye bye.